हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वेरियस अदर डिडक्शंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट स्टार्ट विद डिडक्शन इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ मेंटेनेंस इंक्लूडिंग मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अ डिपेंडेंट दैट इज अ पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी अंडर सेक्शन एटी डबल डी दिस डिडक्शन इज अलाउड टू एन इंडिविजुअल हु इज रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया और एच यू एफ एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ डिडक्शन शेल बी फिक्सड दैट इज ऑफ रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड वे आर सच डिपेंडेंट इज अ पर्सन विद सिविल डिसेबिलिटी दैन अमाउंट ऑफ डिडक्शन शेल बी रुपीज वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू क्लेम दिस डिडक्शन वेरियस कंडीशन हैव टू बी फुलफिल्ड बाय द एस एस सी सो फर्स्ट कंडीशन इज इफ दे हैव इनकर्ड एनी एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर द मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट ट्रेनिंग ऑफ अ डिपेंडेंट बींग अ पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी और पेड और डिपॉजिटेड एनी अमाउंट अंडर अ स्केड्यूल फ्रेम्ड इन दिस बिहाफ बाय द लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन और एनी अदर इंश्योरर और द स्पेसिफाइड कंपनी फॉर द मेंटेनेंस ऑफ अ डिपेंडेंट बींग अ पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी द स्कीम प्रोवाइड्स फॉर द पेमेंट ऑफ एनुटी और लमसम अमाउंट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ डिपेंडेंट बींग अ पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी द एस एस सी नॉमिनेट्स इधर द डिपेंडेंट बींग अ पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी और एनी अदर पर्सन और ट्रस्ट टू रिसीव द पेमेंट ऑन हिज बिहाफ फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द डिपेंडेंट बींग अ पर्सन विद डिसेबिलिटी नेक्स्ट वी हैव डिडक्शन इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट अंडर सेक्शन एटी डबल डी बी दिस डिडक्शन इज अलाउड टू एन इंडिविजुअल और एच यू एफ हु इज अ रेजिडेंट इन इंडिया ओनली देर आर वेरियस कंडीशंस to claim this assessi the assessi shall have actually paid any amount for the medical treatment of such disease as may be specified in the rules the expenditure must be incurred for himself in case the assessi is an individual the expenditure may be incurred for any member of huf in case assessi is a huf now what does the dependent means dependent means in case of individual the spouse children parents brother and sisters of the individual are dependent and in case of huf a member of huf is known as dependent dependent wholly or mainly on such individual or huf for his support and maintenance now next we will discuss the rate of deduction that is allowed under this section first if a assessee is a non senior patient whose age is below 60 years then actual amount incurred or sum of rupees 40000 whichever is less shall be allowed as deduction if a assessee is no is a senior citizen whose age is 60 years or above then where the amount actual paid in respect of the assessee or on his dependent or any member of hf of the assessee and who is senior citizen the deduction shall be allowed for rupees 1 lakh then let's discuss the various notified diseases under section 80 double db there are various neurological diseases like dementia motor neuron disease chorea aphexia parkinson's disease cancer full blown acquired amino deficiency syndrome chronic renal failure so these are the various diseases under section 80 double db for which a sesi has actually paid any amount for the medical treatment of these diseases and he can claim the deduction in respect of medical treatment under section 80 double db next we have deduction in respect of donations to certain funds charitable institutions etc and this uh, this deduction comes under section 80g this deduction is available to all assessees whether it is individual firm hf or aop now deduction under section 80g is divided into two categories first is the donations without qualifying limit and second is the donations with qualifying limit then further donations without qualifying limit are divided into two categories deduction shall be allowed 100% of donation and some deductions are allowed 50% and deductions with qualifying limit are also categorized into two categories 100% of donation subject to some qualifying limit deduction shall be allowed and to some of the donations only 50% of the donation amount shall be allowed as deduction so now let's see what are the donations that come under section 80g which are without qualifying limit first uh, first of all we will discuss without qualifying limit so here you can see on the in the diagram 
there are deductions are divided into two categories 100% deduction and 50% deduction if the donation is made to prime minister national relief fund national defense fund prime minister armenia earthquake relief fund national fund for control of drug abuse swachh bharat kosh clean ganga fund and many more then total amount that is 100% amount of donation shall be allowed as deduction and there are various donations that are made to jawahar nehru memorial fund prime minister's drought relief fund indira gandhi memorial trust rajiv gandhi foundation in these four donations the 50% of the amount of donation shall be allowed as deduction then we have with qualifying limit that are also divided into two categories if there is any donation allowed as deduction then we have with qualifying limit that are also divided into two categories if there is any donation that is made to government for charitable purpose that is family planning or indian olympic association or other association for promotion of sports then the 100% amount as paid as donation to these two shall be allowed as deduction and in case donation is made to the charitable trust government for charitable purpose donation to authority for housing development not, uh, temple housing development notified temple corporation by central government state government for promoting interest of minority committee then amount of donation only 50% of amount of donation shall be allowed as deduction then we have to calculate here the qualifying limit so donation can't be more than 10% of the adjusted gross total income now here adjusted gross total income means gross total income less long term capital gain minus short term capital gain or shares taxable at 15% minus all other deductions minus income from non resident taxable at special rate so these are the various deductions that are available in respect of payments to an ssc thank you